channel it's Carol Jean here today and today I'm bringing to you a review and a powder foundation uh, but first if you're new to my channel my name is Carol Jean I'm 55 years old and I love playing with skincare beauty products fashion finds lifestyle finds and I like sharing them with you um, and I'd like to use products that are for affordable and for the everyday woman. So if that is something you're interested in, please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because that really does help me on YouTube here. And I want to talk about the product that I'm going to be testing today. And it is the Laura Geller Artesian All-Star 4-Piece Collection. And this was gifted to me from my husband and it was on QVC and it's on special this week. It's on sale for $43 and it's a four piece set. So um, that's what we're going to be testing today. And on my 55 year old skin, I'm going to put um, another layer of um, moisturizer on top so that my skin um, can really take this powder foundation because I don't want it um, to look cakey at all. So. I'm using the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Cream. I really like this. Um, it has a hyaluronic acid in it and that really plumps. So I'm going to put some on my, apply some now and just work this in all over. I'm gonna even tap it up here I don't know if I'm gonna put the um, the powder foundation up under my eyes. I don't think I am. I don't like too much powder under my eyes, so I'm a little hesitant. So, okay. So, pro, um, step one is is to always apply a good moisturizer and let it sink into your skin. So while while that is setting. Um, I'm going to show you what came in this four piece set. Um, I have a 32 ounce pan of the Balance and Brighten foundation in the shade Fair. And uh, this is the color of it in the pan. And the Laura Geller products are a baked product. Um, they start off as a cream and then they are baked in Italy on tiles. And um, they have a lot of color variation and it, it's formulated to be um, a color corrector. So I'm excited to see how that um, works on my skin because I do have some um, like redness to my skin tone um, around, around my cheeks. And um, I do also have some redness over here with some scarring. So I'm anxious to see how this color corrects. So it came with the 32 ounce pan and it also came with a 30 ounce, 32 ounce pan of um, a baked blush and highlighter. This looks like a gorgeous blush. It is called um, Pink Buttercream and the highlighter is called um, French Vanilla, which I think is a highlighter that she's, um, Laura Geller is known for. And it also came with a lipstick and this is a marble lipstick so there's some variation in the shade of the lipsticks and um, it's supposed to be a, a peachy it looks kind of pink in the tube but it says that it's supposed to be a peachy um, type color and it's called Naples this um, kabuki brush and this is for applying the foundation and it's very soft um, and it's dense but there's still you can see it there's still some movement into it in, in it in the bristles so I'm anxious to see how this will apply the powder foundation um, I think for the value I think this is a, um, a good value for $43 I think it's normally like still less than $50 I know it's on sale now um, so yeah, I think this is a good, a good little set. So, um, I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to take the Kabuki brush 
And you can see on my skin, um, I have wrinkles, I have things to cover, I have sunspots, I do not have perfect skin at all. Um, so I'm curious to see if this powder, powder foundation is going to cover some of this for me. So I'm, I'm just going to tap it in, tap the brush in, and swirl it, and get some of it. And I think I'm going to start with um, going through the center of my face and tap it and swirl it. So this is the side of my face that I have the most to cover. And I'm going to go back in and apply some more. And I can see that it is giving me right now like a light coverage. And it's taking that redness away. I, I don't want it to like sit on top of my skin. I want it to sink in. So, oh, I'm surprised that it, wow, it really, on this side, which is actually my better side, it covered really well. And it, it, I got some coverage here too, but I think I would like a little more. Um, I did see that um, Laura Geller suggested when you want you can make your brush a little bit tighter. You can get maybe like a little bit more coverage and to dip it into the pan, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to, um, she said to stipple it over the areas you want more coverage. So that's what I'm going to do in this area here on my cheeks and just press and look, it's covering. Wow. And I'm going to do a little bit like of stippling around my nose because um, I get some redness right here and I think it's a little bit easier with the brush tight to get in there. I have a blemish up here. I have some redness around my mouth. And I'm just kind of work it all in. Okay. That was really quick. And um, this is the final result. It, it's definitely not full coverage, but I'm not a full coverage person. Um, I like light to medium. And it did really color correct my um, f face. I, it's not, I don't have the redness that I had before. I do have um, nice coverage here, but I still, you know, I still have some of my freckles peeking through and or my sunspots and I'm, I'm okay like that. I am going to go off camera now and I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, but I want to uh, apply the blush with you and my... Okay, I'm back um, with the rest of my makeup applied I except for my blush back. and I'll... Let's do a little swatch of blush. It's a real pretty pink color. A pinky peach. Yeah. And there looks to be um, not like a sheen to it. Um, I'm going to use my Real Technique blush brush and I am just going to tap a little bit off because I haven't used it before so um, I always go in lighter and I am just going to apply that to um, my cheeks oh it's very pretty I like that Very pretty. I definitely like this shade on me. It's very pretty. I think if um, it's a, I wonder if, if you get a different color with you're in the, you know, like the medium or the deeper shade that she has. 
Um, but this looks great on my fair skin. It's really pretty. I'm just going to put a little bit more. I am a blush girl. Okay. And I think that looks really pretty. And now I'm going to try the vanilla highlighter. And um, I don't like a lot of sparkle. Um, let's swatch this and see. I, I kind of like um, like a lighter, more natural lit within. So I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe you can see that. It's not like a real blingy one. It is more of a natural color. And I'm just gonna put it up here on the top of my cheeks. And maybe a little bit what's left under the brow bone. Um, maybe a little bit down my nose. I, I like this. It's not like, um, it's a little bit, it's a little slow. I mean, definitely you can see it, but it's not real blingy, which in, at my age, I don't like a lot of bit of bling. So I, I'm quite happy with that. So, um, take them, give you a close up look of the foundation and the blush and everything applied. I am gonna set it, um, cause it is, you know, I have powders on my face and I always like to set my makeup when I wear in powders. So I'm, I am gonna um, set it with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. nice I think this is um, a very um, natural looking doesn't look like I have a lot of um, powder on which was, I'm surprised let's try the lipstick um I moisturized my lips and um, I did apply a little bit of um, liner just uh, on the outside of my lips and I'm gonna use this peachy it's called Naples And it's really pretty. Very natural, peachy. Kind of a, um, maybe like a satin finish. It's not matte and it's not super glossy. I think it's just like the white, the right, um, in between. And I think it's really a good, um, shade that would complement a lot of skin, skin tones. And, and, and the lighter skin, especially because, you know, this is the fair. So I think this would complement the, um, the porcelain and the fair very well. So that is my final makeup look. Um, I do want to check back with you and see how long this lasts. Um, I do have my vanity lights on. So um, I'll bring you next to my window in natural light. And um, we can see what it looks like in natural light. Um, and then I'll check back at the end of the day. Okay, everyone. Um, I'm standing next to my window, um, a big window here, and then in the natural sunlight. And um, I think it looks good. Yeah, I think it's a good shade match. Um, I don't. I'm gonna try to zoom in. Um, I don't think it looks real cakey. Um, I would say it's like a light to medium coverage. And um, yeah, I'm, I think it looks really pretty. Um, I think this is something I would maybe like to use when I don't have a lot of time. I think it might be a quick way to apply the makeup. It, it looks like more of a satin finish. So, okay, let's see how long it lasts. All right. I'm here for my end of the day check-in and um, I've been wearing the powder foundation now for uh, about eight hours. I applied this at one in the afternoon 
and it's like 9.30 at night, so about eight and a half hours, and um, I don't know, I'm looking in the mirror, and um, it definitely hasn't lasted, it's bro broken down, um, I don't have any coverage on my nose, um, and my chin, I can really see it in my chin and my nose, um, I still have a little bit of coverage on my cheeks, um, yeah, I don't think this is a very long-lasting foundation. Um, so, what are my final thoughts? Um, my first impression is that um, I think I might have to try different ways to apply this. I'm not sure. I know this was the brush that came with it, but I think um, maybe next time I will use it. I have this... Um, denser um, kabuki brush. So I think um, I would try it with maybe a denser brush to get a little bit more coverage. Um, but I did think it was a very pretty foundation. I think it was very easy to apply. Um, I can see myself using this for um, quick um, get up and get out of the house. I liked that I didn't have to apply any bronzer to my face because um, I, it gave some um, warmth to my skin. I didn't look like a blank canvas. Canvas, And I, again, I think that was because of um, the color variations in the, in the formula. It has a place in my rotation and I'm very glad that I bought it. Um, I really did love the blush and the highlighter. The highlighter I really liked because it wasn't very intense. So I definitely will be using that and I definitely will be using the blush. Um, the lipstick, um, it was, you know, I have other colors like this and um, it was moisturizing, it wasn't drying, but you know, it wasn't long lasting. Um, and, um, but you know, it was, it's a nice thing to be, have included in the kit. And um, the brush, like I said, it did, it, it did apply it, it did a good job, but I think maybe this would, um, denser brush would be um, something that I would like to try. I really think it is a value um, off four products for like $43. And um, yeah, I would re recommend it. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in my next video.